Hey everyone, my name is Camila and this is Matias. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. I've had a lot of people um, ask me in the street or friends um, when they see my kids in their winter gear where we get a lot of our stuff in particular our snow boots when i first moved here to minnesota um i did a lot of research about winter gear and when i had kids and i found that this was kind of the best option for toddlers these are the bogs b mock boots um and there are several reasons why i chose them although it did take a while to convince him <laughs> and so we live in minnesota and winters are rough here. <laughs> so you're not saying anything? So it gets really, really cold here. You know, for the most part is um, in the teens in the winter, but usually way below zero um, for long stretches of time. And um, there are lots of options out there when it comes to boots. But um, after trial and error, I have found that these were the best. Um, they reach negative 20 temperatures. Delightful. That's where we live. <laughs> Another thing I really like about them is that they're still flexible. Um, my son wore this when he was between two and three, this size in particular, which is a seven. Um, and those little feet really need to have flexibility um, for movement, not walk like Frankenstein. Good, good. This whole part up here is very flexible um, and it makes it really easy for kids to pull them up on their own, which is ideal when you have a two year old, a three year old, even a five year old. It's still great that it has handles and they can pull them up. Especially if you're willing to wait like half an hour for them to get dressed. Teddy, what do you want with the shoes, Teddy? I don't know what you're trying to tell. You want your rain boots? Right. Another thing that I like is that it doesn't have a heel, which a lot of shoes have, um, and it does have a lot of grip underneath. And if you have slush or ice, that's also a really nice key point for them. Um, they do adjust here on the side, so they tighten around the ankle, so their foot is not moving up and down, like with a lot of adults' boots. Um, you get that feeling, and these boots really secure the shoe to the foot really, really well. So the website does claim that they are waterproof, but I would say they're more water resistant. Maybe the f it depends on where you live, but when you have a lot of slush here, which tends to happen around fall and definitely around spring, the water does get in through. Another thing I really liked about this is that they're priced right. Um, some brands Expensive of other right. boots. <laughs> um, you know, cost a hundred or more for some warm boots that reach these same um, temperatures. Yeah. <laughs> and sure. um and although they might look pretty or they might claim that they keep the feet very warm, um I have tried many of them and I still feel like this is the best boot out there um, for kids to play for a long amount of time outside, to feel independent, to have flexibility for their um, developing body, for their growing body. Also thinking about the parents like this one, <laughs> they're not anywhere near a hundred dollars per boot and they're kind of easy to find online as online used as well like um, a unicorn though <laughs> yes so it's not the easiest thing but um you can find them used online on facebook marketplace or on mercari um there's a couple of other kid sites that you can buy them from as well um and when you do find them used sometimes it can be really inexpensive 20 30 dollars and you just waterproof them again with sprays there are lots of sprays out there lots of videos on youtube about what kinds are better um depending on the fabric that you have and that really extend the life that's another of my favorite things that these are really good boots as a hand-me-down. They can go to the next child very easily. <coughs> they
they can be resprayed and will be functional for the next year and the next user. Remember earlier in the video, I said that a lot of the boots out there for kids, the kids feel a little bit like Frankenstein. They're just so heavy. This is such a lightweight boot. I mean, I could just throw it in the air. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> and he could catch it and it didn't actually hurt him right I don't know. <laughs> so yeah these boots i wasn't convinced at first bottom line 60 when they're in, uh, in sale or if you find them used they might be below that but they're they're flexible they are they last a long time i mean these were used by our now six-year-old and and by a friend and by a f and by a friend yeah really yeah okay and they still look great <clears throat> and our daughter is gonna use them now yep and i mean besides the little bit of poop you know it's, <laughs> it's, it's it, they're, they're great they're a great a great boot i mean just look at them i mean they that for being used by two kids and they're good material they're they're water resistant one of the all the things that the kids have this is like one of the items that i love and of course you see the handles like cami said that they're perfect for the kids to to put it on them, themselves so they're worth the price if you think like oh target you'll find uh, little boots for 20 you will but if you spend this this money and if you plan to have a few kids, you can buy this boot and you buy it once and the three of them or two or five will use them. So it's worth the investment. So it's not only mom approved, but it's husband approved. And that is very rare. Well, thanks everyone. See you next time. And uh, we're trying to get something started. So if you like what you saw, uh, please uh, comment, like, subscribe and all that good stuff. So we, we get up there in the algorithm. Thanks. What? I added some stuff, but... <laughs> man, what, what the f***?